observe the video. Here a solid is taken which is called dry ice. See that the solid is directly changing into the gaseous state without changing into the liquid state. This phenomena with the solid or the solid state directly changes into the gaseous state or vice versa. The gaseous state directly changes to the solid state without changing into the liquid state. This phenomena is known as sublimation. How does this take place? Let's see. For some exceptional solids, the solids have weak intermolecular forces of attraction between them. So even a little heat from the surroundings increases their kinetic energy. They absorb the heat from the surroundings since they have very weak intermolecular forces of attraction. So even these little heat from the surrounding increases their kinetic energy. This increase in kinetic energy increases the speed of the particles. As the speed of the particles increases, the distance or the intermolecular space increases and this leads to the fact that the intermolecular force of attraction decreases tremendously. As this intermolecular force of attraction decreases tremendously, the solid directly changes into the gaseous state without changing into the liquid state. So for some exceptional solids, at times even a little heat from the surroundings changes the solid directly into the gaseous state because the intermolecular force of attraction decreases tremendously. So let's revisit what is happening here. As the temperature increases, in this case the solid directly absorbs heat from the surroundings. So this heat leads to the increase in temperature. This increase in temperature leads to the increase in kinetic energy. As the kinetic energy increases, we know that Kinetic energy is related to speed, greater the kinetic energy, greater the speed of the particles. As the speed of the particles increases, the interparticle space between the particles increases, due to which the intermolecular force of attraction or the interparticle force of attraction decreases tremendously. And this leads to the solid directly changing into the gaseous state without going through the liquid state. So, we know that solids have very strong intermolecular forces of attraction. But in this case, we are saying that some exceptional solids have weak intermolecular forces of attraction. So why do we still call them solids? This is because if you remember, we have said that solids have a definite shape, they have a definite volume and they have a definite mass. So solids like dry ice, they have a definite shape, they have a definite volume and they have a definite mass. Due to which we still call them solids. But these are some exceptional cases due to which they directly change into the gaseous state. An example of this sublimable, so solids with sublime are known as sublimable solids. An example of this sublimable solid is naphthalene balls. You must have observed that you keep naphthalene balls during winters when you pack your clothes your woolen clothes in trunks and when you open them again in the next season you do not see these naphthalene solid balls and neither do you see any liquid forming. This is because these naphthalene balls are sublimable. They directly change into the gaseous state and therefore we do not see the solid neither the liquid form. So this is the interconversion of the three states of matter. We have the liquid state, the solid state and the gaseous state. When the solid changes into liquid that is known as fusion or melting when the liquid changes to solid that is known as solidification or freezing when the liquid changes into gas we call it vaporization or boiling when the gas changes into liquid we call it condensation when a solid directly changes into gas it's known as sublimation and vice versa when the gas directly changes into the solid state without going through the liquid state that is also known as sublimation. So this is the interconversion of the three states of matter.